After a while, crocodile, it's time for the load-bearing wall. Quickly! To the Batmobile uh, uh, training room! I'll take you through it on the way. There are certain types of walls. In our game, there are three types of walls. Load-bearing walls, plaster board, and concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. You'll see the effects immediately. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. Fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. You're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. You leveled up again. Holy cow! Let's see what happens now. Amazing! It reminds me of the Egyptian buildings I have in my data. Let's put up the scaffolding. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that... When you get close to the ladder, you can fold and unfold it. Good work! You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer! Ever heard of it? Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Right! It's time to place it in the hologram. Fabulous! Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Some would say the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drill. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. Next step will be doors and windows. See you later. Yeah! to learn more? Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. 
Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. By one front door. Great. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. After placing the door, you have to choose which pattern you like and apply it. Great job. Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the phone. We'll talk about it later. Amazing! Let's move on to windows. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done! Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun! Now it's time to put in all the screws you need. Hey, hey! Next step, insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Great! Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. See you in the next stage! Yeah! Ah, oh, my friend! Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. Ask them. They'll tell you all about it. Let's go to the training room. Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the hologram and screw them in with a drill. Remember that the profiles are screwed to the ceiling and floor.
good job! Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to! Isn't that amazing? By 100 plasterboards! Well done! Now place them on one side. Looks great! After installing the plasterboard, you need to use screws to attach it. Take your drill out and screw them in. Nice! Every wall needs to be insulated. Mineral wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 mineral wool in the shop. Excellent! To lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely! Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. This is how partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course. By 20 insulation. Now, place it on the ground. Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much, but you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets. Have you ever heard of following the procedure? I bet you didn't. the concrete partition wall. Have you ever heard of following the procedure? I bet you didn't. destroy them! But first, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. This time I'll do it for you automatically. 
Got your back, Jack! If you're not happy with the partition walls, take a sledgehammer in your hand and destroy them! You've already got the walls covered. I wonder what's next. See you in a minute. Yeah!